He's singing. Well, we've got the perfect little sous chef for you. And it's not John. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Kitchen Master Easy Hold Mandolin. This is available in so lots of great colors. There's green and purple and black and blue and red. It's so awesome to be able to get a consistent slice. Yep. You're making your potatoes a gratin or that sort of thing. But when it comes to slicing and dicing the onions and the peppers and the carrots and the salt, everything is even and consistent. So John's gonna, sh he's pretty fun to watch. So it's come to your TV and take a look. <laughs> we, we just like to have fun in the kitchen. Cooking doesn't take time. It's the it's preparation the of the food that takes the time. And that's what this machine's gonna do is cut you so much time in the kitchen. Plus, it's fun to use. It's got a handle on one end. On the other end, there's little feet on the bottom here. Those will fit over any size bowl, frying pan, or a, or you can even put it over a uh, like a soup pot. Sure. Or you can stand it up on your countertop or tabletop just like I do here. Now this blade is razor sharp German stainless steel. You adjust the slice with the knob on the side. You can go from a, th a almost as nothing slice, like paper thin, all the way up to a super thick slice, about a half an inch. So anywhere in between, there's eight different slicing thicknesses. Now watch what happens on this side. Yeah, this is when where you it gets turn this good. knob. You can see those cutting teeth that come yep. up. Those do your julienne. Yep. Whether you like a thick julienne, a super thin angel hair julienne, or a medium julienne, or all of your dicing or mincing, those are the blades that do that. And it's so simple to use. You take a potato, a tomato, an onion, whatever you wish, start at the top of the machine and slide it down to the table. Back up to the top, down to the table. Basically, if you can move your arm up and down, <laughs> you can use this machine. It's really easy to use. When you get close to your fingers, okay, I, like I said, this blade is razor sharp. If you've ever slipped on one of these old four-sided oh, tin can knuckle ow, busters, ow, you, ow, ow, ow. you're gonna appreciate what we give you with this machine. It's called the safety holder. There's four stainless steel prongs and a button on top that pops up when the food goes inside like this. Now you hold on to the holder. Now your fingers never get close to the blade. And with that button, it feeds it down to the very last slice. So with no waste and no fingers, I want you to look <laughs> at these slices. Perfect and uniform for pan fries, home fries, raw fries, for cottage fries, American fries, whatever you want to call them. They'll fry up evenly if they're sliced evenly. But here's probably one of the hardest things you'll ever have to slice in the kitchen. Nobody ever seems to have a knife sharp enough to slice a red ripe tomato. You ever try this? You slip on sli and slide on one side. When that you doesn't work, it you turn all. it around and try the other side. <laughs> and then you end up stabbing it to get uh -huh. it going. But watch how this works. It's simple. All you do is put it in the safety holder, brush it against that razor sharp blade, and for salads, for nice. sandwiches, I'll tell you what, perfect uniform, look at the uniformity of that slice. And that's, that, that tomato is softer than my boss's head. I mean, that <laughs> was that was like uh, juice with skin wrapped around it. But watch this, because it doesn't matter what you want to slice, apples, bananas, kiwi fruit, whoop, that one got there away. There you go. Lemon, lime, <laughs> orange, or tangerine. With that safety holder, your fingers never get close to the blades, but look at the slices. They're perfect for lemon water, for, for doing uh, all mm, of your fruit so salads. Yeah. But watch this, because if you like the slice, but you want it thinner, I get a little excited, but watch. I'm gonna turn the knob on the side, and I'm gonna take it up to a thin slice, all right? You'll love this for things like bread and butter pickles. Or if you want to slice cucumbers for cucumber and onion salad. You'll nickel down carrots for canning. You'll slice beets for pickling. I mean, the higher the price, the thinner the slice. <laughs> hey, that's a, listen, cucumbers are expensive in the wintertime. This <laughs> is true. Slice them thin. So look does your at this. boss really have a look soft Look at head? those perfect, yes, he does. <laughs> look, look, look how perfect those slices come out. There's no way that you could slice that way with a knife. And where you're going to really love this, and this is why These I love These make it the too. best little gifts for people that you know love to cook, but you know what, this is, this this is something everybody dreads. Great yeah. little gift idea. Watch this, because if you've ever done this with a uh -huh. knife, where you play tic-tac-toe, and then you take a slice, and your tears roll down your cheeks, and you get <laughs> smell all over your hands, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give it a little bit thicker, thicker slice, and look, for salads, for sandwiches, for sauteed peppers and onion, steak and onion, for liver and onion, for potatoes and onion, it takes it right to the end with no waste, but look at this. You get perfectly sliced onions for your salads, for sandwiches, for sauteing. And if you want to match up your bell peppers to the exact same thickness, watch what I'm going to do. Take a knife, slice off the end with the stem. Now you can reach inside, pull the heart and seeds out. And I want you to see this because I'm going to hold this right over the tray in the front, over the onions. You can see.
see perfectly exactly mm. how this works. You get perfect pepper rings, oh, great. the exact same thickness as the onions. That means they'll all saute up at the same time. You don't want one cooked, one burnt, one done, and one raw. You want them all the same. It's and so it true. takes it right to the end. This is now. the best little gadget. By the way, blue and black are the first to go here. So uh, if you're interested in those two colors, do them now, 211114. We also have green and purple. There's uh, I know, a, a I bright love the red. colors. Yeah, they are I, fantastic. I, I'll tell you, any, it matches any kitchen. And I, I, you love it because, too, you don't have to leave this sitting out. Take a look at goes. the size of this, okay? It will fit right in your knife drawer. I want you to keep it in your knife drawer, too, because when you see it every day, you'll use it every day, because you're gonna save a ton of time with this. I mean, you know what, you know what mandolins were originally made for? Hmm. Cabbage. Oh, really? Yeah, they were, they were uh, invented in Germany about over 100 years ago, and they were made out of wood at first with a metal blade, and they were made for making sauerkraut. And since then, I mean, look, look at all the things you can do. See, seriously, you'll love you'd this never make long, that. stringy coleslaw. Yeah. Watch the difference. Now, oh, hey, on taco night, iceberg lettuce comes out light and fluffy nice. like this. But watch this. I'm going to go to a medium slice, and oh, I'm going to pop the blades with the teeth up. I'm going to go to a medium sized uh, chop because now, instead of shredding your cabbage, it'll mince it into little pieces. For deli style coleslaw without a lump, hump, or a bump, <laughs> I mean, it comes out of this machine more like I mean I, look at that you could almost sip that through a straw look at it that. comes out perfect wow and you know what if the only thing you will ever use this machine for is this one single job for mincing onions I think I, I, I'll tell you what I think it's worth the price of admission just for the minced onion isn't it the truth with no smell on your hands exactly. no tears in your just eyes see how fast that yeah. was too here you want to see that again did you blink you <laughs> no. here I'll do another onion real quick because I'll tell you it happens so fast all you do is move your arm up and down the machine takes care of it. You don't waste anything. It takes it right down to the very last slice. And look at that. You get a perfectly minced onion for salad, soups, and stews. Now, anything solid. Oh, and by the way, you want to save time? Grab a, head, a bunch of celery like this, all right? You can do one or two stalks at a time if you want, but if you want to save time, grab the whole bunch and brush it through. You can chop more wow. celery in 10 seconds with this machine than you could chop in 10 minutes with a knife. I mean, hey, come the holidays for your homemade stuffing, for soups and stews. Look at mm, this. That good. And the different angles will give you different cuts. You see, onions and celery grow in layers, right? They're not solid. So something solid, well, they're solid this way, so watch. When I run it through this way, instead of straight up and down, you're ah. going to make celery spears for your stir fries, for wok cooking, or if you're, I'll tell you what, put a carrot in the safety holder. Now, a little tip, you can tip them in on an angle like this, but watch this. You can make carrot sticks. Excellent. Zucchini wow. spears. Hey, if you're into those vegetable traits, look at that. Hey, That's how about incredible. French fries? I love <laughs> all the different ways you can cut I mean, with this. It's such it's not a just, versatile tool. Exactly. It's not just about it, slicing. That's right. It's about julienning and preparation or in, uh, presentation in addition to the preparation. Look at this. French fries. Shoestring French fries done in seconds. Hey, if you have kids, they love these apple sticks, okay? <laughs> Try this at home with an apple. Uh, melt down a bowl of caramel in the microwave. Mm. You can make matchstick apples in seconds, mm. okay? For the kids, they love these dipped in caramel, yeah. <laughs> melted caramel, and they're delicious. Again, that was like two uh, seconds, that whole apple oh, gut. And if you like bigger french fries, all you do, watch what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go okay. to the thickest slice, uh -huh. I'm gonna pop up the bigger knives, okay. and now, instead of little thin julienne, now you get a thick julienne. There so we go. Big steak fries, like you get in the restaurants. Oh, that's awesome. Or maybe you, wanna do, <laughs> maybe you wanna do some zucchini sticks for a vegetable tray with a sour cream or an avocado nice. dip. Look at you that. You can make them by the mounds. You'll make them by the pounds. Absolutely. Well, you just have to it choose your you color. So time. Uh, this is a special spring break price. They're free shipping, as I believe. Yeah, we got free oh. shipping on. This is your choice of black and blue are going to be the first two to go. Then followed by purple, then green. I think we have most in red, but... We just have a couple thousand, and we sell thousands <laughs> every know. time this comes up on the air. Well, you can see why it's so popular. Yeah, and great. every professional chef has a mandolin in their arsenal of You've uh, got, kitchen Or they have a somewhere. sous chef that does all yeah, this right. stuff. That's been but watch this. Here's something that, uh, this is not in the instruction book, okay, when you get this home, so kind of watch me here, all right? Okay. Or you can find us on hsn.com later if you need to sure. you know, hear this again. Watch this. Lay an ear of corn down on right on the machine, right along the edge. Now, 
Now, if you have an oven mitt at home, wear an oven mitt, okay? I don't have one here, so I'm, not, I'm gonna just take my time. But when you brush that through there, look at that. It's a corn stripper that takes four or five rows of corn off the cob each time you oh, run it through. Oh, there's nothing better than fresh for, corn. For sweet corn, whether it's yeah. blanched corn, cooked corn, or raw corn, for creaming or steaming, for boiled or buttered corn, relishes, for mm. chowders. And here, there's a ridge on either side of the machine. You can, you can even milk the cob mm. for your cream-style corn. Oh, for your corn succotash. For, for soups and stews, for corn relish, oh, or corn chowder. That way you get all the goodness off the cob. You don't exactly. waste it. Exactly. I mean, look, there's nothing left on that cob. <laughs> Here, have you ever done this, trying to take corn off the cob at oh, home? Gosh. Like my grandpa Don, he, 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 God bless him, he had teeth like the stars. They, they came out every night, all right? So he couldn't chew the corn off the cob. Or maybe you have kids with braces and you have to take the corn off the cob. Look, it's simple. All you do is lay it down and brush it through. Each time you brush it through, you give it a little turn and it takes four or five more rows right off that cob. So again, whether it's blanched corn, cooked corn, or raw corn, and again, when you do this at home, because you can't use the safety holder, that blade is sharp, so put an oven mitt on your hand so you don't right. cut yourself if and you happen to slip. on that note, but, I love the fact that we do include this. Yes. So the color obviously matches. This is also a juicer. Yes, oh yeah. Hey, t I'll tell you what, here, hand me that green one. Sure. You gotta see this, because, I mean, again, this machine does everything but the cooking. <laughs> I mean, it, and, here, I'm gonna slice an orange. You can do this with a grapefruit, lemon, lime, orange, what, whatever citrus fruit you mm, like. That smells good. Cut it in half, place it over the top, give it a little squeeze. We even put, look at this, mm. fresh orange juice first thing in the morning. We even put a pour spout on there. So now you can take it right to your breakfast uh, glass and pour it right into the glass. So you have fresh squeezed orange juice. Excellent. I mean, anytime you Smart like. Smart design, right? Juice. right? I know we just have a minute on the clock. If you're just tuning in, watch John once again, because this is doing all the hard stuff, the prep, <laughs> the slicing, the dicing. Uh, so, very, very effective. Here, I'll do this one more time. I'm gonna put this right over the counter uh, up here in the front. Okay. I'm gonna show you the thick slice, all right. okay? for on a cucumber like this. And you can see that's a pretty thick slice, all right? That's about as thick as you'd like for a salad or for a, a, maybe, maybe even for a sandwich. But look, by turning the knob on the side, you adjust the thickness of the slice. There's eight different slicing thicknesses. So if you want it thinner, here, you can make them thinner. If you want them super thin, take it all the way up to the top like this, and look, you could make one cucumber last all winter. I mean, 